Hi, Boxes, and welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, welcome. My name is Brittany, and today we are going to be unboxing this short story box, um, and I am wearing the same thing as I was wearing my last video. We're just going for it, doing these in a row, so we're not going to pretend like it's different days. Um, and this dress is actually uh, from my last short story box. It's so cute. It's got this little bird print all over it. Little tie belt. Love it. When I undo the safety pin I have here, it is boobalicious and it looks amazing. Um, but I'm not going to traumatize you today, so we're just going to go ahead and, um, unbox this box. I'm going to leave the safety pin. And I will say, so I've gotten two short story boxes so far. Really loved the stuff that they sent, but having a little bit of trouble with the um, sizing. So a lot of the brands that they seem to be carrying are only going up to size like large and um, they're kind of like junior-y brands when it comes to sizing so I really need an extra large where I normally wear like a size 12 um yeah I'm like needing an extra large in a lot of these which is fine except they don't offer it so I'll get something and I'll really love it and it won't quite fit up here or you know the waist will be just like an inch or so too small and um so I've been having that tr that problem. I'm not sure what's in this box, but I do know it took forever to ship. Um, they billed me for it, and then like a month and a half went by and it never shipped. So I reached out to customer service and I was like, hey, um, you know, you billed me for this and I haven't gotten it. Can you either like ship me a box or refund me? And they're like, oh, we were waiting some stuff to be in stock for you, or we were waiting on a shipment or something like that. And I was like, okay, but they said that they were shipping it out the next day. So I don't know if they replaced whatever was holding the box up or what, but I did get the box quickly after that. Um, and I'm excited to see what they sent. All right. So I have no idea what I put in for like what I was looking for because it was almost two months ago when I filled out whatever form after my last short story box. So... Open it up. This is what it looks like. We've got some like prints, got some colors that I love. So that is a promising thing. Let's see. Okay. So this is double zero. Lovely large. It's a cute color. It's like a rusty orange color. This is something that um, like I would love this color for the fall. It is just a basic curved hem like crop boxy tee. Um, might look cute tucked into a skirt but I wouldn't be able to really wear it with jeans because I feel like it's not long enough. So I'll have to try that on. Oh, it's so washed out. Okay here we go. Alright so as you can see it's short right? Like that would be a good length to tuck into a skirt or something, but I mean it works with these because they have the big bow, but I think if it were just jeans or something, I don't know if that would work. Um, and I don't know that I love the neckline either for some reason. Um, yeah, just not a very, I don't know, I don't think it's very flattering. I don't think I like it. Let me know if you think it's really cute down in the comments. Maybe you guys will have a different opinion of it than I do. Um, I, so yeah, I like the color. Um, let's see if I can make it focus. There we go. So I like this color. It's like this sort of rusty pumpkin-y color. Oh, it's got like a raw hem here too. I don't like that. Um, yeah, but I just don't think that looks that great on me. Okay, what is this? Edit by nine. 
It's like a little peasant blouse with this cute floral print. Like it's a black and white floral print. This is like a drawstring, so I don't know if you could make it wider or smaller. Um, but it is cute and I like the little sort of puffed sleeve. Here's the prints on that one. So that's cute. So this top, I mean, this is pretty cute, right? I do like that. Um, it's polyester though. <laughs> I'm just, I don't want to keep anything I'm not going to reach for, you know, and I'm just not really, I'm not a big polyester person. Um, I do think that this neckline is pretty cute uh, with the gathering. It just has like a bit of just like, just like a weird feel on the arms like it's like it's too tight almost like it's supposed to be down here except then it like pulls on the neck part and so I just this is not particularly comfortable for me um okay this is soft what is this who are these shorts yeah these feel like lounge shorts though sugar lips <laughs> All right, sugar lips, these are size large, and they're just like a little sort of jersey short. Um, I would not wear this out of the house. Uh, my ass will hang out of this for sure. I think that it would look cute. It's got some like stuff on it. Um, I think that it would be cute as like pajama shorts, and I do love this sort of thing as pajama shorts and has pockets um but yeah no way I could ever leave the house in like a cut like that like taking my kids to the park my butt would be okay so I decided to try on these little shorties and um they're a little bit longer than I expected I guess I still don't know if I yeah I wouldn't yeah I don't know that I would like trust it to <laughs> <laughs> bend over at the park or something like that um but they're really comfortable and I think they're pretty cute and they have these little pockets kind of swishy kind of has that like mini skirt vibe to it um mm, I like these I like them and they're really comfortable and soft and I think just like with a t-shirt around the house like it's a pretty comfortable little like loungewear look you know what do you guys think it's, it's really like the softness and the pockets is what does it for me because I think that if I tried to like leave the house in them um I mean I feel like you could but I just feel like the fabric is too thin and you would be able to see like panty lines and then just like the cut of them because they come up here. Um, I just don't trust it. <laughs> and I do have cheeky shorts. So let's not pretend that I don't. Um, but. I don't know. Peekaboo. All right. This looks like a dress. Blue ivy. Size large. This is not going to fit me. Um, so this is kind of the problem that I'm having with them. It is... Alright, let's untie this. It's a cute dress. It's polyester, which I don't like. Um, and it does have pockets, which is nice, but the hem, like, is this a dress or is it a romper? Oh, it's a romper. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, I would wear this. Even though it's polyester, it has pockets, it's a romper, it's floral print, I like the color. Um, I just don't think it's going to fit. And this kind of, like, buttons, like, if I kept this, I would probably stitch this down. Um, except that... I think that might be how you get in and out of it. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm going to try it on. It's really cute. We'll see how it fits the ladies because 
I just don't know. I just don't know. I mean, I like it. So this is the little romper. I'm surprised that it fits. It's actually very comfortable. Um, this is freaking cute. You know? I mean, I don't know how it looks from the back. I'd have to like look in a mirror. I can't see that far, but it has kind of like a little like mini dress look from the front. It's got these little flutter sleeves, which I adore. The only thing is that like even the bust fits and it has this little like panel underneath where you can, where it will like hide the gape that's happening because you see how it's, it's pulling a little bit, but because the panel is so deep, um, it hides that. The only problem, I love the bow and everything, but what happens when you have to pee? And the only way to get in and out of this is I'd have to unbutton all of this and untie it. Like the buttons go all the way down to here. So let's count them. One, two, three, four. I lost count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight tiny buttons every time I want to pee. That's something I have to think about. Because I don't know. Everything else about this, I love. I would wear this. I think it's really cute. I think it's really flattering. I think it's swishy. I think it's fun. Eight buttons. Eight. I have counted them. There are eight. Every time I have to go pee. I could like try and see if I could like get down to here or something. But then I feel like I would probably just pop the buttons off trying to get in and out like get my hips in and out. So. Might as well just unbutton the last two, right? I don't know. What do you guys think? Is it worth it? Is it cute enough to make me unbutton eight buttons multiple times a day to go to the bathroom? You tell me. You tell me in the comments below if it's that cute. I'm counting on you because <laughs> I want it. But mm, I don't know. I just don't know. Okay, these are cute color. This is the last thing. Hmm. It's like a crop paper bag waste. It's by the brand Potter's Pot, which I think they sell this at like Nordstrom or something like that. I, I know I've resold a dress by this brand, um, but these are a size. What's, what, what size is this? I don't even have a size tag. It says it's a size large. So I mean like I don't know. I just usually don't buy pants that are like size small, medium, large, because it never works out very well for me. We'll see if these fit. They do have some stretch to them. They're definitely a crop. Um got like a kind of a cargo type pocket and then they're gonna be belted in the front. I think this would be really cute with the black and white monochromatic top. Um, so I'll probably try those on together and see if I like them. I was kind of surprised I was able to get into these pants, um, but they did have enough stretch in them. I'm going to flip us the other direction so you can kind of see like what's going on with this pant situation. Um, but they are cute. Okay, so here we go. We've got these pants. Uh, I do love the length. That's one thing I will say about Short Story is that they really are good with like that petite height. I am 5'4", and I can't tell you how many things I've bought that are supposed to be like a crop, but they're like ankle length on me. They like come all the way down to here. Um, so these really are a crop, and I think that they're really flattering length as well. Um, they do have the pockets, and I do like the tie. I feel like when you have a tie right at the center that's like big and bold, it kind of like hides sins down here. Like if you like, you know, stopped at the drive-thru or whatever, and you're like feeling a little bloated or 
you're on your period or what have you, um, you see how it like curves up here. Um, so I think that that is, I think these are cute. I don't know if I need another pair of yellow pants. Uh, I bought a pair from Stitch Fix last year. <laughs> so yeah, I'm actually gonna go and try this on with the, um, the other shirt, the t-shirt, uh, because I think that would be a really great like fall color combo and maybe match my shoes a little bit. So we're gonna try that out, see how we like it. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at what I um, got for pricing. So the Becca Cotton Curve Hem T and in brick, size large, that was $28. So this one is $28. Um, personally, I think that's a bit high for a t-shirt, but, uh, you know, I mean, it just, it wasn't, it's like target quality, so, yeah. Um, the Jersey Smock Shorts, that's the little black shorts, these were 38 and I know it sounds ridiculous to keep these, um, for sleep shorts at $38, but um, cute sleep shorts. I mean, they're hard to, they're hard to find. <laughs> so uh, let's see, Ditchy Floral Romper. That was this cutie right here, $52. And the Floral Peasant Blouse. It says size large and then in parentheses down here, it says, let's see if you can see that. It says fits like extra large. See that right there? Uh, pardon my nails, but anyway, uh, that's interesting. I wonder if they have like a feedback from people about how it fits and then they like put the notes in or something. Um, that's this one. And then the last one is the Vicky Paperback Waist Tapered Pant by Potter's Pot in Golden Oak. Love that name. Um, don't think I'd pay $56 though. Yeah. So anyway, uh, for some reason I have a credit. I don't know if one of you kind souls used my referral code. Uh, if you did, thank you. Uh, but I had my styling, styling credit, so the $25 that I already paid just for getting the box. And then the $50 credit from maybe referrals or maybe they gave me credit because I was waiting so long. I'm really not sure. But um, if I kept everything in the box, it would be $143. So that's not bad. Um, it was $218, and then after those discounts, it would be $143. So uh, let me know down in the comments if you liked anything that you got, if you thought that I should keep anything. Um, last time I ended up trying everything on and I didn't think I would keep this dress because it does not have pockets, which is usually just like a cardinal sin for me. Uh, I really need a pocket, but um, it just looked so flattering that I was like, well, <laughs> gotta keep it. So let me know if you think that anything was really stunning, if you think that I should add it to my closet, and if you hated anything, let me know. I'm not gonna be offended at all. So. I do have a uh, stitch fix coming for my birthday. So my birthday month is August and I um, have paused stitch fix because I really have not been like impressed with what they've been sending me. But I was like, look, it's my birthday. Let's do this. I want an all dresses fix. I like pockets. I like natural materials and my budget is $300 or less a dress. Bring it on. I want to see what you've got that you think that I'll like. And I always buy myself a really, really stunning birthday dress. I am looking at this Kate Spade one right now that I really love, but we'll see if Stitch Fix can compete and hopefully I'll be able to do an unboxing with you for that Stitch Fix begin video. Um, I had to cancel the trunk that they were sending me from Trunk Club because everything was horrible and I hated it and I was not going to keep anything. Um, 
So I don't know if they're going to send me another one. I haven't like initiated that process or anything like that. Uh, yeah, but I also am getting a back to school stitch fix for my um, five year old. He's going to be six in September. Uh, so maybe I'll do like a mommy and me stitch fix unboxing because I think that would be really cute and I would watch one. So uh, let me know what you think down in the comments and I'll see you later. And I'll see you for my next video.